to my little from wet to dry hair care routine. Um, I thought I would do like a little, mm, I would show you guys what I do with my hair and it's not that much so, but I think you guys will like it anyways. So I'm gonna start and I start by, before I go into the shower and before I um, wash my hair, I always brush through it. I just find, found that it's much easier for me to like detangle my hair when I brush it. Um, when it's dry before I jump into the shower, the conditioner just like melts into my hair in a much better way. So as you know, I am now an ambassador, a very proud ambassador from Maria Nila, a Swedish hair care brand that is 100% vegan, cruelty free. They produce their products in Sweden and they compensate, they climate compensate, which is super important for me. So it's a brand that I very, very deeply believe in and it's so much fun to be able to work with a brand like this. So. Anyways, um, I right now I'm using a series which is Pure Volume. So this is the Pure Volume shampoo, and I use it together with the Pure Volume Pure Volume conditioner. Um, and I've tried. I use a bit of different ones. It kind of depends on like what my hair is, like what I kind of feel like I want to do with my hair. So like. When I'm traveling in different countries, you never know what the water is like. I feel like, for example, in LA, my hair gets, it's like a whole other texture from when I wash it in Sweden. So when I'm abroad, when I'm traveling, um, I thought the pure volume would be good because then at least I know that it won't be too like um, silky smooth when I jump out of the shower. Even though this leaves my hair really soft, but it just gives you that little, little push with the volume, which I like. Um, I also really like their they have their green series. It's really nice. I'll um, I'm going to link all the products. So when you go into the products, you'll see their whole website and you'll see all of their series. So I use these two in the shower, shampoo and then conditioner. Sometimes when I've had a lot of like when I come home from a photo shoot and I wash my hair, I do shamp. I like I go with the shampoo twice in my hair. So first I feels like I kind of wash out all of the products, then I wash it out, and then I put another round of shampoo in and it, that kind of feels like it goes to my hair. Um, that's of course personal, but I like doing that when I have a lot of products in. Otherwise, just one time. I then go in with oil, it's very important for me, and I'm going to link my go-to oil um, in the description and I'll have a little photo of it. But yeah, I just use oil in my ends. Never up here, because that will leave the hair greasy. I just always in my ends and then I comb through my hair after I've showered as well, which I do feel like it kind of straightens my hair a bit, which I don't like. So what I do then is that I use a salt and mist or a curl cream. Um, it kind of depends on... Sometimes I feel like sprays are easier, so today I'm going to do the salt and mist. So I'll just spray this in my entire hair, or like not in my entire hair, but like the length. And I'll like squish it up like this. In the ends, push it up a little bit. Go to the other side, and then I never blow dry my hair. I don't like blow drying my hair. I feel like it just leaves it a little bit too, um, leaves it too frizzy. And I honestly, I really have the time to blow dry my hair. Like when I'm not working, when I'm not on shoots, I like just being able to let my hair air dry because it feels like it's nicer. Like when I'm at shoots, they always put so much heat on it, and I don't like that. Well, I like the results, but I don't like how, like, I don't like all the heat. So I just squish that up a little bit, like that. And then I basically just let my hair air dry. Um, I don't do anything after that. I do have a volume spray, and I know I talk to you guys about this so much. A lot of you guys ask how I get volume in my hair, and honestly, for me, it's like enough to just wash it. I have a lot, my hair is really thick, and it has a lot of texture, and it's pretty dry, so it automatically, like my hair is automatically very voluminous, volume, <laughs> my hair has a lot of volume naturally, but when I do, I do tend to feel like when I just washed it, it's a little bit too soft for my taste, so what I do then is I'll go in with a texture spray. I have a few different favorite ones. I have one from Maria Nila, which is the volume spray. And this one has a little bit more of like a wet feeling when you spray it on. So like it says in the back, it's a gentle volumizing spray applied to damp hair and blow dry for best results. So what I'll do is like I can apply it to wet hair because um, it does give that little wet effect. So I don't like putting it in my dry hair, but like I'll use a little, 
Mainly I like using it like more in like the roots, but I won't use a lot. Because I feel like since I don't blow dry my hair, I like putting in products um, when it's dry so like I know what it looks like. I feel like sometimes when you put in products when it's wet, you will have no idea how it turns out. So I try to save product for when it's dry, but just to give you like an idea of what you can use the volume, the volume spray with. You can use it when it's dry, when you have dry hair, or when you have wet hair. Um, so yeah, I comb my hair back, then I part it. I always have a middle part, and then I just comb them down, just like this. Sometimes I'll even do this. If I'm at home and like I know that I want my bangs to like be a little bit more together, I'll walk around like this. It's a look, but it's a little annoying, so I kind of like to just brush them down and then I do like I part them to the sides how I want them to dry. My bangs are pretty long right now, which I do like. Um, but when they're shorter, I style them the exact same way. So just like this. And then I'll just walk around like this at home. What you can do is you can take like a little hair clip and you can like do a little like this. Totally depends on what you prefer. I have this thing where I don't like using hair tools um, in wet hair like pony, like hair ties or like um, clip so I just try to let it be like this um, and that's what I do with my wet hair um, it's actually like 10 o'clock now so I'm gonna go to bed I always air dry my hair look at this little thing it's annoying I always air dry my hair I never blow dry it so I'm not gonna this is what I do um, and then I'm gonna fall asleep and then tomorrow when I wake up I'll do the rest of my routine with you guys so mwah, I'll see you in the morning Okay, so good morning from a really good night's sleep. It was so hard to wake up this morning, but here I am um, getting ready for our last day in Cape Town. And this is basically what my hair is like when, when, I've, when I let it air dry. I fell asleep with like damp hair yesterday, so you never know what you're gonna wake up looking like. But I woke up looking like this, and I kind of like it. Um, what I would do if I would want my bangs to be down, I would comb them down. Now they're going to be all crazy. <laughs> um, I would comb them down and then I would just, I always like do this little thing where I like squish them a little bit to the side. Um, the thing that I can like, I'm not going to wear my bangs down today though, but the thing that I can do um, when, like now that my hair is so like, it's so soft because you know, it's like just newly washed. I'll take out the volume spray and I can spray a little bit in my roots just to like get a little bit of texture and when I spray it I then work it in just like mushing it in <laughs> um, that's just because you know sometimes when you or not sometimes but washing your hair it gets very um, very very soft so I can do that and I'll work it in because it does have that like wet feeling so you kind of want to work it in you don't just spray it and then go and that's basically what I do <laughs> was this not an informative video um, I just now do I do something else Ras? I don't think so no, you're ready to conquer the world I am let's just bring in a little bit more of the salty mist just so it feels like I've done something more. Also nice because it will give you a little bit more texture and everyone loves texture, especially like now here in Cape Town, it's crazy windy. So like you kind of want something that will just poof your hair up a little bit, I guess. But then the wind will take it and everything will go up. But yeah. 
that's um, that's what I do, how I style my hair from wet to dry. And I will do more tutorials of like when I curl my hair. So that will be a little bit more informative. But this is a very transparent how I style my hair. I didn't want to add any product just for the fun of it to like make it seem like I do a lot more. No, I dropped the products. Um, I just wanted it to be like a real how I style my hair. And this is basically what I do. And now I'm going to go out and catch the morning sun and wash my face, eat breakfast and enjoy our last couple of hours in Cape Town. Thank you for watching this video. Keep your eyes out for more hair care videos like how I, I'm thinking of like how I curl my hair because that's been really, really um, popular and then I'll do like another breakdown of all of the products I use. Um, so like all of my favorite texture sprays because that is something that like I highly recommend for you guys if you want more volume. Um, and yeah, stuff like that. Mwah, love you.